Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play. Well, one I'm putting on the side because waiting for Advance Wars Dual Strike, certain man to get ready, and people wanted me to do Fire Emblem, so I thought, fuck it. Why not? This one, for example. If it wasn't obvious to tell which one it was already, it's bloody FE4, isn't it? But yes, um, the reason I chose this one is despite the fact that it has been done to death, I still like it. And the intro's all Japanese, and trust me, I have patched the game with the new patch. It's got its quirks, but anyway, anything we can learn in that, we can learn in the actual intro anyway, so yeah. So yeah, Seis no Kefu, or Genealogy of the Holy War, whichever you want to call it. And look, there's some English text that doesn't seem out of place at all. Also, a bunch of this backstory literally doesn't really become that important. I mean, stuff about the Dark God and the Great Purge, etc, etc, that's all important, but Myra's apostasy? I, I don't think that ever really becomes a thing. But hey, can't be helped. I was going to turn my volume down, jeez. So, yeah. Basically, we open on here, Grand Bell, as you do. It's a kingdom, for now. Founded by one of the Twelve Crusaders. They're important, you know. Who'd have thought? You know, legendary weapons, holy blood, all that kind of thing. It's a combination of duchies, because that worked in certain countries, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Sure. You know, I never did understand why they have autonomy. I mean, there's a king. Why have duchies? It's something strange to behold. And then there's that guy. He's going to be important. Not really. Um, the guy in the middle is important, by the way. The guy in the bottom kind of looks generic as all hell. That's because he kind of is. Prime Minister. Is it David Cameron? No, it's someone equally as uh, evil. I mean, come on, look at those guys. They're so obviously evil, it hurts. And it literally physically hurts. But, hey. That guy seems legit as well. Oh, sure. Yeah. However, that guy, the guy with the blonde hair, totally evil. Alright, this is where the, you know, actual important stuff begins. Kinda. Yeah, barbarians, who'd have thought? Fire Emblem game opening with that, you know. It's never been done before, has it? Yeah, public outcry began about the bloody horrible gameplay decisions. No, no, much, much love to Effie for it. It wasn't that far into the whole uh, archetype just yet. It's only four games in. But hey, they learnt their mistakes, right? Kinda. So yeah, if there's anything I'll give about FE4, it's the sort of political backdrop they have going on. It's significantly deeper than a lot of the other games tend to go into, but hey. Especially with Augustria. Yeah, we'll get into that place later. For now, we got these assholes. Oh, of course. No. No bloody aggression here. No, no, no. Oh, who'd have thought? Another legit looking guy. To be fair, we have a prince coming our way. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, there's our main man. Took him long enough. That would be Sigurd, our lord. For the moment. He's sitting there up in Kelfi going, fair enough. Better kick some barbarian ass, because this is Fire Emblem in the prologue, that's what we do. Uh, save the childhood friend, yeah. Totally gonna marry her, right? Yep. 
Grand Condor 757 war was beginning. It's you. Ah, oh, sure. I mean, come on. This is a Fire Emblem game. There's no bigger dark plots involved. Nothing about that dark god. Also, that says Birth of the Holy Knight. Just, just for your information there. And hey, wouldn't you believe it? Axe toting barbarians. Even though they're technically part of an official army, it's it's still bandits. Come on, let's let's be perfectly honest with ourselves. Hey, look, it's a couple of women. All right, everyone's made that joke. It's Medea, that guy on the left, definitely a guy. I checked. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. You sit on that castle there, you, you'll be fine. Against all those dudes and a warrior. You noticed? No, don't leave him in charge, please. It's really not worth it. No, seriously, there's, there's got to be someone better. Not Noish. Hell did you become a knight? Okay. Oh, hey, look, someone slightly more reliable. Oh, your mileage may vary with him. Does have a bit of a turban going on, but that works. It's red knight, green knight, standard staple at this point, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, villagers, we got to save them. They give us money, they give us items. If you leave them too long, the bandits will burn them to the ground. My fay, huh? More backstory that we probably wouldn't need. The thing I like about this game, it gives a lot of backstory. You don't need to know it, but it's nice to know. Okay, Oife. Oh, sure, you're 14. Go fight the horrible barbarians. They would eat you for breakfast. Let him down easy, Sigurd. There you go. You can be the team pet. How about you, Noish? Certainly don't want you. Oh, come on, not Arden. I mean, sure, he's a bit of a moron, but it's pretty tough, man. Yeah, and Arden's not fantastic either, but I'd say better than Noish for what he's worth. Like, seriously. Anyway, we we good. We we setting out. We good. Okay. Also, do mind the black space. There's some. The, FF4 has some weird rev resolution things that changes, like this, for example. But anyway, I suppose we should talk about the guy. Is that's Arden? That's an axe knight. Also, talking about growth is a bit of a moot point for FF4's sort of first half because they're all fairly bad. But there's a reason for that. It ties into a gameplay mechanic. I'll go into later. Plenty of time to talk about that. But. Oh, noish. It's got a decent base strength and a bit of a sword rank, but. Basically, there's a skill in this game, Duel. That allows you to keep fighting if you're agile enough. It doesn't activate all the time. Yeah, he does have critical, but that's not saying much. You see. Yeah. No. But yeah, he has the hill, Alec. He's a good guy, and pursuit. That's something you want. That's something Noish does not have. Which means if he's faster than a unit, by to a degree, then he will double. Noish is far more temperamental. So to speak. But yeah. Also, yeah, if your home castle gets captured, you lose. You lose so hard. But in this map, it's not really much of a danger, and in most maps, in all honesty. So I'm gonna go to the config here. Ah, let's turn the message speed up to 4. Real animation. Enemy speed fast, naturally. Um. Oh, no auto save. Auto cursor can go off, however. Speaking of saving, you can do that before you move all your units. So the way I'm gonna go about, gonna go about this. Have a save at the beginning. 
and quickly save every turn. Actually, it'll probably be map, castle, and turn. Actually, yeah, probably wise. Anyway, time to move out. Rose lose you a bit of defense. Well, sorry, rather. Well, a bit of a void, but they also give you a bit more movement, so... Who do I trust to kill this bandit? I kind of trust you, Alec. Go for it. Love the battle music, by the way. Oh ho, it's already at work. Single RNG, 42 hits. Excellent, good. Also, there are some villages up there, but we're going to want to head towards the castle because, well, ah, you'll see, you'll see. Also, speaking of, you, yeah, you'll totally be alright down there. What, with Gandalf? Pretty tough for an early game boss, let me tell you. Right. Um, I really don't want to do this, but go ahead, Noish. Have a go. <laughs> to be fair, that worked. Only because you had just enough to kill him. Trust me, I won't be trusting you to do it again. Um, guess I'll move you over here. What do you have on you? Steel sword? That'll do for now. Right, go for it. To be fair, you just got there. Oh, well, he's fucked. Is it time for a scripted battle? Yep. Love the sound effects as well. Oh, stranger danger. Dimaggio, huh? Who the hell's Kin Boys or Kin Bois? Whatever the hell you want to call him. Alright, generic bandit guy. Who's not really a bandit, but might as well be. Yeah, enemies are supposed to be on fast movement. Get out of here. As they take forever. KK. You look kind of cool. So yeah, they've kind of crossed the border back into their own country, haven't they? Actually quite cool that, the sort of location of the castles correlate to the actual place on the maps, because they're that huge of a scale. But anyway, yeah, Gandalf. God won't save you now. Okay, bye. So their enemy feed is kind of amazing. Great thing. Nope. Hey, look at that! Doubling! Something noise can't do. Oh, I fucking hate you, noise. Oh well. You don't get to procreate. Um, but still. Yes, yeah, so they've already started burning villages something awful. Dot com. But, um... Also, these guys decided to show up. Yeah, Lex, with your awkward looking forward portrait. Hmm. KK. So, yeah, we have a mage and an axe knight. Alright, there. Uh oh. Of course. Player. Alright, Lex. He's well edgy. But oh well. So yes, actually since I got the intro in here, I'm probably going to wrap this up in a sec before I really get started. Next time, well, every time after that, I would uh, 
probably stop at a castle, depending on how over length I go. But anyway, first things first, Hazel, he's a mage, uh, pretty decent, I guess. And Lex, he's pretty badass actually, he's got Paragon slash Elite, double experience, and Vantage. So yeah, it's all pretty bitching, but alright. So then, since there's only the prologue, I'll just put my saves in the second slot for now, so that I can avoid save states, save state 12-12. But anyway, next time on Fire Emblem 4, we'll go destroy some bandits, save some villagers, that kind of jazz. See you all then.